all right, Tennessee with a new coach and these, these analysts that come in, we can call them whatever we want to, but they're essentially coaching. And at a lot of the schools, I'm not going to say Tennessee, but uh, a lot of the schools, when the media is asked to leave, these coaches run out on the field, which is an NCAA violation. Nick Saban started it, Butch Jones did it. I mean, it's, it's pretty commonplace and I don't think you would get in, in that, big of trouble it is Corey robinson a saint's assistant defensive backs coach the past three years i want to get to willie martinez and tennessee struggles in the secondary how much of that is his fault but first tell me about Corey robinson is this a significant pickup he's a defensive assistant and do you think he might be the heir apparent to willie martinez so, yes, Corey Robinson is a guy who went to Central Connecticut State in the 2000s, then coached high school in Baltimore for about six years. One of the spots he coached at was St. Francis in Baltimore. That's where Tennessee's built a mini pipeline, if you want to say. Dominic Bailey hails from St. Francis. And so they've got some guys there. Then he went to Toledo, Temple, Rutgers, Maryland. But he spent the last three years with the Saints meaning he has worked with two former Tennessee defensive backs, one who played under Josh Heupel and Elante Taylor, but he also worked with Bryce Thompson. And Elante Taylor is still, until Darnell Wright was the best draft pick Josh Heupel produced out of Tennessee. So I think he's very familiar with what Josh Heupel does. I and think Tennessee Josh- would be familiar with him because all you got to do is call up Elante Taylor and say, hey, man, I helped you become – an NFL player, and it didn't look like that was going to be the case. Uh, what do you think of this this guy that we're thinking about hiring? So I think that goes both ways. Yes, exactly. No, that's very true. So I think this is a very intriguing hire. And look, Willie Martinez is a longtime journeyman. I don't, I don't think he's he, – he, he reminds me of Larry Marmy back in the day. Remember him, Dave, defense coordinator at Tennessee? I do. I do. Um, and- I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I, I, don't, I don't mean this to sound mean – and, and and I'm sorry if it gets back to him and he cares, but Willie Martinez is, is a great recruiter and Willie Martinez is not a great position position coach. And Tennessee has not had a great defensive back uh, coach since Kevin Ramsey in 1998. Can you, I, I, I thought you might be able to fill in the blank, but it's not Larry I mean, Slurk, who took over in 99. He was, horrendous um i mean the simple fact is Dion grant went to the nfl early because they decided to retain larry slade who who i mean you you were more in it when i was covering recruiting for espn you were covering tennessee still i, I mean am i missing somebody that's a great so player? i thought Derek i thought Derek gansley was great his first year in 2019 with tennessee but tennessee secondary was so bad in 2020 when Pruitt got fired, but I don't know if that's on Derek Ansley because Pruitt, we all agree Jimmy Pruitt's a good secondary coach. I think Tennessee's, I think there was just a lot of issues in 2020 overall. So I thought Derek Ansley was a pretty good one before Derek Ansley, you know, Terry fair coached the defense for a year. And I wasn't sure he was that bad either, but I think Pruitt did kind of force him out to make room for Derek Ansley. Um, well, I mean, I, gosh, you put me in a tough situation. I love Terry fair. I did a show with him for a year. Um, I, I, I think he's fantastic. I think he's a great individual. I think he's a great man. But, um, you know, if if you look at what he's doing now, it's not coaching. So that was either partly because of the personal toll it can take on, on your family or he wasn't very good at it. And a lot of times those are, are one and the same. So, I, you know, I think he wanted uh, to coach, uh, but I don't think that um, – I don't think you necessarily wanted to spend the time and I can't blame him. I wouldn't want to, by the way, on his Wikipedia page, uh, it says he also co-hosted the drive, a sports talk radio show that aired on WNOX in Knoxville. I get no mention of that. of being the co-host and name of the dad blame show. Nothing there. I mean, Dave, nothing, not that I'm an ego guy, but for goodness sake. Oh, wait, what about this? Okay. Here's an interesting one. The Kevin, you're Willie Matt Garza. What about, what about him? I thought, I mean, Eric Berry did win the Thorpe Award that year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was solid. I'll give him that. Yeah, I'll give uh, him that. Yeah. Yeah. But somebody so, needs to – can somebody And, I mean, when Jeremy Pruitt was – Let's get back to that. Can somebody address <laughs> – I don't have a Wikipedia page. What oh do you have to God. do to get a Wikipedia page, Caleb? 
you've got to get famous. Hmm. Tell you who's uh, famous for their integrity. That's City Heating and Air Conditioning, cityheatandair.com. Over 50 years in East Tennessee. Integrity matters. Sometimes you don't need a whole new unit. You just need a part or you just need some coolant. Well, the other guys are going to tell you, spend $10,000 on that new unit. Don't do it. City Heating and Air Conditioning, cityheatandair.com. You will absolutely love them. And when the temperature is getting hot, some of these units are going to fail. They will not fail like so many Tennessee defensive backs coach.